Hi, Sally. Good to meet you as well. And where are you calling us from? Calling you from actually from the mountains of Colorado today. Um, the great state of Colorado, we have mountains and plains. So I'm in the mountains today. I am the CEO and an owner of Applejack Wine and Spirits. Um, we have two locations, one in Thornton, Colorado, and one in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. And it's a retailer of alcohol, alcohol beverages. Um, from beer to wine to spirits and all that goes with it. Um, we've been doing it, as I said, for 60 years. I've been with the company for nearly 30 years. Wow. Um, it's been a, a fun ride, I must tell you. So that sounds like a huge footprint with a lot of legacy. Um, can you describe your in-store operations? And so we have big stores, large square footage with huge selection. I think our selection is second to none. I think um, the whole idea is to create an incredible customer experience. They can walk in for the first time and go, wow. Um, and if they walk in for the second time, they can expect to find what they want. The whole concept of Applejack Wine and Spirits has been customer service. Okay. And customer service is achieved by taking good care of the customers, being there to help them if they want help, making sure the prices are competitive, making sure the selection is, is as large as humanly possible to have. And that's what we've been doing for as long as I've been there and wow. even before. So in the process of creating this really amazing customer experience, how does Sweet Paws help with that? Well, again, a critical part of any customer relationship is they can walk the store and see great things, but ironically, the greatest impact is when they check out. And right. that's where Sweet Paws or Sweet POS, as I've also called, comes into play. It's about, is it efficient? Is it effective? Is it fast? Is it simple? Right. And it applies to all those things. Okay, so it's really effective for you now, but what was your POS solution before Sweet Paws for NetSuite? Well, we, we had another company that was very good. Um, but it, like anything in the world, times change and while they were good and keeping up to date, there were things that we needed as our company expanded that required us to change. And so the decision was made that we needed to have a, an operation, a POS system that was far more nimble than what we had. Um, and one of the beauties of Sweet POS is that it's not part of a global conglomerate, if you will. When you've been in business for 60 years, you have a, a, a cadence of doing business. And you don't want to disrupt that cadence, but yet you also know that a new system will change the cadence to some extent. Sure. The beauty of Sweet POS is that it allows us to both move forward and advance our technology, but at the same time, keep the cadence that we had. And that's what we've worked with with Sweet Paws. What were the specific challenges that you had with the POS solution before? And what was like maybe a specific thing that decided that made you decide, hey, we want to make a change to Sweet POS? Well, there are many things. One of the, one of the things was the speed of the system. The, the other system was much more cumbersome in some ways than um, Sweet Paws. And so we wanted to make sure that it wasn't as cumbersome and that the systems were more aligned with what a customer would expect, a basically easy checkout system that works virtually seamlessly. Do you think your shoppers, um, your you know Apple Jag regulars, have noticed the change using Sweet POS, and has it affected their experience? What they do notice is if things go wrong, or if it's slow, or they're standing in line. That's what they do notice, and the fact that the lines move faster and the, the checkout process is speedier is what they yeah. want, expect. And I don't know if they focus on. They only focus on things when things go poorly, not sure. when things go well. So because it didn't go as well under, under the old system, they noticed that. What we're, I can tell you is we do not hear the complaints 
that we used to hear. We hear that it's been a great experience and that's what's important to us. The experience, the ex experiences that they have at checkout, the experiences they have in the store. Um, customers are not shy to tell you when they don't like something. And the fact that we're not hearing those complaints is a breath of fresh air. So pivoting to another part of the checkout experience, how do your cashiers feel about using Sweet Paws? They love it. They love it. <laughs> right. I mean, again, going back to, to what I've said before, they like it because it's fast and the fewer problems that are presented, such as a system failing or not being able to find an item or whatever it is that they do, when they don't do, when they have fewer problems, it makes their life easier. Of course. Because they're, they're on the front line. Mm -hmm. Right. That's where that seamless experience really matters. Exactly. So are there any other positive changes to your business um, at Applejack after implementing Sweet Paws that you'd like to share with us? Well, we, we, we're going to be using Sweet Paws going forward for more um, point of sale types of incentives to our customers. So okay. we're working on the issues of loyalty, the issues of couponing. All of those things are a way that this system will improve. Um, it's things that will be great for Sweet Paws going forward as they roll out new and improved functionality it's also will be great for us i mean it's truly i know it's an overused expression but it's truly a symbiotic relationship sure what's good for us should be good for them i like hearing that so you touched on a lot of good points here what would you say to another retailer looking to switch to sweet retail well i would say again that they would be happy with the system. They will be happy with the system. They've got to understand how it works and how it works well. We did that due diligence and we understood where Sweet POS would help us. And in fact, it has helped us. We also understand that it's an evolving product, that there will always be innovation within the product that will be useful to us. And the fact that the innovation occurs as they talk to us, in other words, it's not happening, happening back on the East Coast with no input from us. The fact that there's a dialogue is really, to me, critical. I think that sounds great. And we are wishing Applejack all the best on this amazing economic recovery season. Sounds great. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Be well.